It's just about curiosity, about sound. Over the years, I've learned a lot about materials and how physical material has musical resource potential. Now I can sort of say, well, what would happen if we tried this? What would happen if we tried that? And because I've got enough experience, I can ask questions that sometimes have interesting answers. I can't imagine somebody, maybe somebody could, else could do, could perform on that set. Um, it would become a different piece because Steve is a very specific kind of, he brings specific astonishing skills and another performer would bring a different set of skills. Um, those instruments, that set is the piece. You know, that is the score in a certain sense. There's very, almost none of that is notated. Um, there's much more notation about how we built those instruments because we've kept track of that. Um, then, um, you know, and we did drawings and, and, you know, and measurements and tests and things like that. But the, the invention of those instruments is far more what the score of the piece is than what the notes that are played. The check machine has almost nothing to do with music by itself or sound by itself. It is sound in interaction with, with image and understanding how the sound is made. And this, you know, even if you see how it's made, it's still enormously mysterious. You know, how is, how is that mechanism working? How is this physical thing that I see Steve doing turning into what I'm hearing? I'm seeing something, I'm hearing something, and you're still like mystified. That's the power of that piece, is the, pow is the wonder at at the combination of Steve's physical reality, the instrument's physical reality, the visual and physical interaction resulting in sound. If you just hear the sound, it's, it's, not, it's not the piece.